you, I don't think you guys have any interest of dealing with this situation. Yeah. yeah. Which thing? All right. Um, the coalition fighting the Pecos Empire. Oh no! Like I'm not gonna lie, that'd be fun to watch, but I would rather just be like, like eh. yeah, you don't want to be involved with it. So yeah, like, that's going to be going on in the background, obviously, but it's all like not something you're directly involved in, which really means, like you said, Dawnspire and your your settlement are yeah. pretty much safe at the moment, as safe as you can be in rifts. Yeah. yeah. Um, Until the fucking giant so, purple worm shows up and eats our city. Yeah, well, you know, like, we'll I get mean, to that. Yeah. <laughs> at, at that point, that's someone else's problem, because... <laughs> we tried, damn it. <laughs> we gave you the weapons to fight it off. Yep. You didn't fight uh, it off. That's your fault. Yep. Also, uh, I've, I've marked up our map here. Neon green is your general, like, area of control. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, where, like, you guys have an, an active <laughs> presence in this area. And it would be considered like your territory, basically. Um, the gray line is the the exclusion zone area up to like the coalition border, and then the the dark green is the area that you've thoroughly mapped. Okay. And then I have one final option for you, Rudge. Yeah. And this is this is something I, I hinted at with Ben once before, but Willow technically has the specs to a light space shuttle craft, a, a cargo ship, basically. So we could build a spaceship. Not no, obviously we can't fly because one, uh, we don't have the ability to leave this planet. No, nope. because we're gonna get shot down. So we know that well ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Two. We didn't discuss fully whether or not that Willow would need to go retrieve her power core from her other ship, or if we could just redo it without having to worry about the technicalities too much. You'd probably need the power core. That's what I was assuming, yeah. yeah. So there's that. And then the final thing is that would take up oh, most of our resources. Like, it's... So when I, I... I actually have the alien book here, and for the ship of this size, it's roughly 100 tons. Ah. So it's it's literally almost all of our resources so it would be, and what, would, what would be the space purpose of the spaceship uh since we can't fly travel. oh just flight I mean, travel we, okay i got yeah. you i mean so like but, and the thing is like it can fly mach one we're obviously not going to travel mach one but why couldn't we take those little like speed scooters we had before no no we i mean we could take we definitely take the cars that's okay. the thing but this is like a hundred foot long oh just a monster this is like you can fly wherever you want on this map and you don't really have to worry about Time. stuff yeah. messing with you on your way there or like yeah uh, it, it would it would, so. it would only it's, be yeah, ben final Mathemar. fantasy airship travel yeah okay so, and the, the ship that i i wanted to like model it off of is um the fury class interceptor from star wars which uh. is hmm. this guy right here hmm. Bloop. Bloop. well yeah yeah that's awesome but uh uh, like you said, it would take up all our resources. Yep, I so, think that's exactly it. Like, that's why I'm saying it depends on what we want to do. That's why I wanted to discuss, obviously, with you. So gotcha. it's fully into I'm what thinking... we want to do. Uh... Because we did once before mention how we were talking about setting up multiple settlements. Yep. And honestly, this would be a good intro to that. Yep. But also, this could be a good thing to look forward to in the future. So. I wonder if you made that super ship, if that could assist us in getting my ship. Eventually, yeah. All right, then that is definitely on. I mean, on, like, on, like, on, on the like back burner priority. <laughs> like, I mean, that, I mean, I mean that's the thing. Say. Yeah. So, like, the thing is, like, so for starters, like, we can't siege the Lone Star Complex. The end. Right. Like. Unless we play this game for, you know, several, several in-game years. Yep. Like, attacking the coalition, a, a coalition capital city is just not doable. Yeah. Like, to clarify, like, they have at least some intercontinental ballistic missiles. Yep. Like, well, they don't have... they. The thing is, like, I mean, I, mean, I know, Mike, know, like, we know that. It's metagame. Like, we know yep. that. But Rudd just doesn't get that, and I don't even... No, no, no. You would have to steal it. Yeah. Yeah. So, like... 
honestly what Willow would probably realistically be discussing with you right now is that like if we want to try and get your ship Smashing back, like yep. yeah, like this was her first step, which is part of the reason why I came up with this idea actually. I was like, if shit boiled down to like Earth is fucked, like if Willow felt like she could not accomplish her miss mission of helping humans here, because that's her whole goal being here. Yeah. Her next goal would shift over to helping you get your ship back, which might be fly this ship in to the side of that building. Mm -hmm. <laughs> awesome. I love that plan. Because I would like to test the structural <laughs> capability of there. Yep. <laughs> um, but no, in all seriousness, like, yeah, a snatch and grab might be the only option. Okay, and uh, yeah, that's that, that's realistic. That makes cause sense. Because like, like, we've already discovered that we can't sneak in there. Right. We can't brute force it. It's going to have to be discovered you're number. bad at sneaking. Yeah, yeah, so I mean, like, I feel like if we got into the habit of using this ship, we might get to know its strengths and weaknesses enough to where, like, we might be able to come up with a plan eventually to get your ship back. Maybe right. you could just hire some guys to steal it for you. That worked out well last time. Did yeah, it? I'm like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, <laughs> nuking Amarillo was like one of Willow's many thoughts. He's like, what would a fission bomb do there? Kill everyone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All of those poor innocent coalitions. There's no citizens. innocent people there. <laughs> well, the citizens. No, no, no. See, I'll consider like innocent like outside of that circle anyone in these areas yeah <laughs> oh there, there was plenty of just like farmers in around amarillo i like to consider them like accomplices of the coalition well yeah, i mean no, if that's the I way you want. <laughs> no i'm not but no and all honestly it's a joke. i'm not gonna i'm not gonna moralize you if you if you want to <laughs> we'll see we'll see which level of bad guy will okay. eventually <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. So what's gonna happen is you're you're gonna get your ship back, but Willow's gonna get captured and turned into this super boss <laughs> as she attempts to escape and nukes Lone Star. Seems seems <laughs> feasible. <laughs> she's like, all I gotta do is make oh, a yeah, uh, make a plasma bomb, because then she's immune to all the effects of it. Nukes the entire city, and then she walks out of it like Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Jesus. But no, I, I really like the idea of the spaceship because it creates some looseness to us. But I want to make sure we have an understanding with Ben. So that way we're not suddenly doing the D&D, &D, I got flight, I can do whatever I want thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because that's one of the most annoying things for DMs is when suddenly the players are like, Hey, I'm second level, but I found this broom of flying. <laughs> <laughs> you accidentally gave it to us in this random roll chart, so... <laughs> um. Yeah, so, what do you guys think? I'll roll with whatever you guys decide. Um, okay, we I guess spend... the, the main direction, the main thing uh, I think we should figure out is what is your short term, like, I, direction I, in terms of, like, what you want to do? I mean, honestly, like, I, I think we should figure out, like, what all these different people are over here and figure out just, like, let's explore. go do the trade route. Yeah, Explore that, that, the new west. Let's yeah, because like, we start did new Durango and just do the trade route. We did a discussion with the Pecos Empire people about being like, hey, you know, there or what was it? Was it the Pecos or was the the Snake people that gave us the? No, it was the Wilkes place. The Wilkes place told yep. us that the treatment was missing. Yeah, so like I do want to figure that out and do like the full trade route and maybe see if we can get added into that trade route eventually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so you're, like, you're doing frontier networking. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, like, we could potentially. Start off by going to check out El Paso and see what the hell's going on down there. Holy fuck, that's so far away from the trade route. <laughs> well, so what the um, the uh, Bendito Arms trade route was, as far as you know, it goes along the top of the... And I'm drawing this with a thing, so you can't see it yet, but uh, it goes along the top and then goes to the uh, the river down to El Paso. Okay. And then down through the Pecos Empire and up through Lone Star. Something like that. Oh that. I thought the Great Trade Route was that little It is part of the Great Trade I Route. See, I see. But only yeah. like the top part. And then they also like loop around through the Colorado Baronies and like back down here. This is like their like year long yep. route. Yep. Okay. I thought it takes it was, them through like it was all of the frontier cities. Then then yes, I, I want to do the one on the left, kind of like, in, you know, yeah. 
It's and like you've heard room you've heard about this part of the great trade route road and you know like it goes down here yeah. um the stuff on this map may or may not exist right yeah we got that uh, map, map off the, you the, know Arnzo the... exists you know Duranger, <laughs> new durango exists anything that i haven't like mentioned specifically might might be there it might not be there gotcha depending if the dm remembered to write stuff about that, that we <laughs> <laughs> What the hell is yeah. this? Maybe. <laughs> so, so Mike, do you want to check out the the El Paso to see if they're doing okay, and then head up north, or should we just go up to New Durango right now and just say, "Where are Yellow. where are we? We're right here." Yep. Oof. Technically, you're at the little black dot here, right? Oh right yeah, now. my bad. I just. I guess how long does it need to get to pa El Paso? I mean, uh, it depends I'm... on your mo means of transportation. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, if we decide to go with like, say, ship, that's not long at all. That's not, yeah, that's nothing. That's, I mean, that's 250 miles ish. If we take ship, we can just go straight there, uh, radio along the way so they don't shoot at us. I th and we'll, I like, I like the ship more and more because overland fast travel is nice. Like I said, it is, but I also don't want to skip it if it's interesting. Yes. So that's the thing is like, it gives you a much more removed perspective. Yes. Yeah. Does. So, like, do we want to ship this ship? And this you will or... absolutely miss things if you're flying on a spaceship. Like, it's yeah. it's just like unavoidable if you're going. Yeah. Even if you're going slow, you're you're going you're fast. Going even if you're yeah, going, going slow, fast. you're going fast. Yeah. Yeah. So either I, I'm thinking either the ship or the exploration, like the big exploration. Let, robots. Uh, I think uh, that yeah. Could... Let's do the big exploration. Okay. And then we'll head on down to El Paso for a quick visit. Damn it, we're not getting roped into fucking preventing World War whatever with the coalition this time. How about starting it? <laughs> if it gets me closer to my ship, fine. I mean, to be fair, the more people the coalition's at war with, the more likely they're going to get destroyed, right? Or the weaker their defenses are going to be. The less likely they'll try and mess with you. When we get to our ship. All right, fine, yeah. When we get to my ship. Okay, do we want to go with the, the bug idea for the exploration route, or should we come up with a new design? Because I just, yeah, I came up with that a long time ago, so like... Does it fly? Uh, no, like with it its... does not. Okay. So um, the whole point it is like that it's a walker. Pops, right? Yeah, so the, the whole point is that like it's it's a walker, and those like the wing type things are actually just extra shields for the important lab in the back part. It's basically like, to prevent missiles and stuff from hitting our labs. Okay. Um... That's. I think it's fine for now. I'm like maybe just gonna just look up some neat images, but yeah, it, as long as it sticks with like the Nolian theme of being kind of light and white and blacky colors. Mm -hmm. I don't want anything that's like golden or pink or whatever. <laughs> Bedazzled. Yeah, there's just jewels all over it. Yep. <laughs> I couldn't find any that I really liked because a lot of them had like too much of like other genres built into it. Yeah. I like the very sciencey look of the bugs, so that's why I went with it. Yep. I feel like that's kind of the Altru and the Nalians vibe. Yeah, that... It's like this this very sciencey like future. Yep. Clean, clean <laughs> the future. No, don't stuff. fucking name our planets dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Should have been the first warning sign. Yeah. All right. Um. So I guess the only other thing that I want to ask about is. The demon tower uh you gonna mess with that right now or are you gonna let it let it lie for a little longer it, it mess with it like as part of this great exploration plan we'll call it that's a good question um <clears throat> i mean i kind of i kind of do want to help out some and just let him like get that off his chest because I also don't want him doing that when we're not there. If he just decides to bug out one day, like I can't wait any longer. Yeah, like magic like, waits it, but... for no man. <laughs> yeah, I've played and role played enough sorcerers and spellcasters that eventually, <laughs> you don't let the people above you tell you what to do. <laughs> so I mean, I guess we could just bring him along and then be like, okay. Let's see what happens when you use someone. With, I mean, if you if you have the the ship, you can just like stuff him in a corner and give him the the tablet, and he's pretty much <laughs> safe and out of the way. And you have a magic person to 
There we go. Yes. We get the spaceship. We now have a spaceship with a mage on. <laughs> yeah. What could go wrong? I found this one. That looks Fetch the cool. wizard. There's a magic thing. There's a magic thing. Yeah, because the two things I want to go for is I want to make sure it's like science. Did you find? You said are you, gonna, are you sending this picture? Yeah, yeah. I found something, but I, I wish I had two two like domes on it, two science pods. But it only has one. <laughs> I mean, the one could just be split in half. Right. Um, Cause like uh, I'm looking at the the wasp. Is there any weapons on the wasp either? The what? On your on your big on your big. No, no. Droid. Exploration bots should not have weapons. Okay. In okay. general. Okay. The, the whole point is that like if some the whole reason why you do that is that like if somebody scans you, they can detect if you have weapon systems. If you roll into a city with a forty foot tall robot that is armed to the teeth, they're gonna make yeah you can't come in. <laughs> ever go right. away yeah or just like, fire a missile at that right yeah most people aren't going to ask you questions they're going to shoot first like the exploration bot it has a couple like light laser turrets for defense but that's it like okay at the, the doorway basically the picture i saved uh didn't work it was like a a web image not a jpeg so hold on oh all right do the do uh there we go. Uh, snipping tool it. Oh yeah, I mean I could have done that, but I just just got fifty versions of the same thing. Yep. So I'll just grab a n number two. <laughs> and oh my god, this fucking um Discord is being an idiot. There. Okay. Nice and simple. Uh Creepy looking. Oh. <laughs> What's that? All with legs. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that's like too simple. Yeah. Because that just looks more like a drone. Yep, yeah, I know. I mean, but, we can figure out the design of it over the you know next couple of weeks. I but at the same time I do like it. I do like the insect thing. It's not bad. I was just looking for something that was definitely a, a walker with a laboratory in it. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a and like I was even thinking like the it could it pops down and sits on those inner pegs and like the legs pop up and could like do something. Like generate some sort of field or shield even. We could have defenses. I don't know if we have any force field technology available in this game. That's up to Ben. Oh, okay. I know the general rifts don't have them. Yeah. Because of, like, sci-fi is wrong usually in that regard. Uh. <laughs> it doesn't work the way they think it does. <clears throat> but... Yeah, there's only, like, magical force fields and... Yeah. And the, that's primarily because, like, at that point, you're getting way too OP with certain things, even more so than normal. Gotcha. Okay. Imagine if collagen <laughs> robots started doing fucking force fields too. Right. It's just like when <laughs> I when I do force fields, like in my my whatever, it's just kind of run off of a damage thing. You break, you do so much damage, they break, or the power cell fa fails, and oh, it's simple, you know. Rifts would go oh, complicate the piss out of it. I know they would. Well, I mean, like, I mean, yeah, like, I'm saying that, but then you're just adding, like, some of these robots already have, like, a thousand MDCs, which is a pain right. in the ass to get through for some things, and now if you attack on them. A... Right, right, right. No, I get it. Yeah, uh, well, work in progress for that, but, I, yep. yeah, I think we're, uh... Yeah, so I, 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 should we bring some, should we bring Summendorf down to the tower, Mike? Yes. Okay, so, yeah, so that'll be our first stop. So our goal is to stop there, see what he wants to do. If it's short, then we'll move down to El Paso, stop in there, make sure everything's okay, yes. and then move on. The goal yeah. is for those two things to be short. <laughs> LOL. So this is the plan. Right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, all next time. <laughs> yeah. All of it. One session. Yeah, so it's gonna we're, be definitely doing, we're definitely doing the spaceship. <laughs> We're gonna really confuse some people out there. Yep. Um, all right. Cool. Uh, okay, I got one more picture. But it's gonna take me a hot second because I have to change the <laughs> file name because it did that again. Or the. Okay, I need to turn it into a JPEG. 
Yes, it might not work. It'll work. Shut up. Okay, now. So, because of the, the one we added to this, I don't think I've shared this with either of you, but this is something me and Caleb have been, been adding to for like a couple of years. Oh, yeah. We don't want up here as bad guys coming as a fucking giant worm crawly thing. Yes. <laughs> well, what the fuck do you think that fucking bug wasp thing is? It, I mean, the thing is, it's very sleek and it walks slow. I imagine the thing that you have is crazy sounding. <laughs> it, it would just go clink, 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 clink. Like, I mean, it would still move slow, but it would have a lot of clinks because it has yeah, to move I'm, like 10, 20 feet. Yeah, but now imagine that it's like, you know, 20, you know, 15, 20 feet tall. Yeah. 100 feet long making that noise. That's a lot of noise. It doesn't have to be that long, 100 feet. Is that well, how I mean, big yours thing is? Is 100 feet? No, 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 no. Okay. It's not that big. But yeah. no, what I'm saying is, like, imagine, because, like, um, how how tall do you think that thing would be? Because it has to be at least our height. Yeah. You're you're pretty tall, so it has to be, you know, 8, 9, 10, 11 feet tall. Yeah. Well, I was thinking that the head would be uh, where the, you know, the, uh, whatever's are, or even those two uh, spaces b behind it. So those would be the biggest spaces. And then, you know, a couple of, like, tapering down in the back. But, uh, yeah, I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like that's just. <laughs> you wanted insect. That's an insect. I wanted. I specify that I wanted elegant. Oh, okay, that's right. <laughs> I buy. I don't know. That's pretty. It's pretty sleek. It's I mean, design. I'm not gonna lie. When we decide to kind of like siege someone, we're taking that into the coalition territory. Okay. Like underground. Okay. That's okay. Like, like. That's our siege. Yeah, that, is yes. actually, if you look at that, that actually is a mining thing. So if you see, it's got like the mining drills up front, the lasers. Oh, you yep. can actually see it on there. Yep, I, yep, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> so we'll, so we'll backburn to that guy too, because that's a okay. good idea. <laughs> okay, okay, pretty cool, uh, like, uh, non bipedal robot design. Yeah, that's that's a good. Big, like frame caterpillar thing. Yep. That can you make me a small one of those? Centipede. Like one to crawl inside you. No, I mean not that. Well, yeah, that's small, I guess. But have those for legs. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not gonna lie. That's the first thing I was saying. I was like, just attach them to your legs, and those can wiggle around. That would be if you want to be like the most it, creepy thing. If you got knocked unconscious, they could they could just do separate things to protect you. Okay. <laughs> yes. I now now okay. You gave me like you know three augmentation spots for my legs. That's what I want. I want them to be made out of these. That's nightmarish. Yeah, have you guys ever seen like Silva? Uh, what's her name? Silva from like mythology, where she has like the three demon dogs. Nope. It's basically that. It's like uh, her. She has an upper torso of a little girl, and the bottom half is like three tentacly type like yeah appendages that end with wolf heads. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> like you could do that. I can, it's like I can horrifying. Turn. I mean, but they wouldn't look like this all the time. Normally, they'd just be, you know, yeah, legs. Yeah, like unravel yeah, into, they, into like, I mean, not I gonna can, lie, that, that sounds pretty cool, but yeah. also, yeah, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty yep. scary. I could activate them, and then they become these, and then I just hover. How about we That's just do this? That's scientist shit. Absolutely. I, <laughs> I'm becoming angry the more time I spend on this fucking planet. So, yes, mad scientist <laughs> is correct. Ben. <laughs> it's just a big trend. <laughs> uh, oh, I totally forgot. Ben, I totally want to make this as a like drone as, as one of my complex drones because I, I I realize that I like um, Megatron or yeah I like Optimus Prime's voice better than Megatron's actually. So then I came up, I, I saw this and I was like, I kind of want to make this but real. Oh my like, god! I want it to look cartoony and <laughs> like a like. Just like like a cowboy drone. <laughs> yeah. It has like yeah. smokestack coming off of it. Are those gonna? Well, yeah, it's like... off his prime. No, yeah. I know, but does he actually have those big smokestacks like that protruding off of his arms? <laughs> I don't think they did. <laughs> well, you know, you gotta dumb dumbify down with with, with Lego. This, which also, that's like definitely not real Lego. That's off-brand Lego. Yeah, I, I think he's going more for a steampunk uh, brand. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yep. Isn't that amazing? Yep. Yep. That's, That's like, very funny. We should do like that. The, make, the make, make a steampunk op, make a steampunk Optimus Prime. Yeah, this will be like our butler inside of our robot. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, I definitely want my, my legs to be these horrifying creatures. Okay. I mean, yeah, if you <laughs> if you want to have um uh centipede legs. Yes. Okay. 
All right, so we're never gonna be allowed into anywhere ever again. So what do you well, mean? yeah. So like they they, they unravel into sentinels. Yes, legs. exactly. Normally they just look like super badass uh, high tech space age legs. Yeah, so that will take up all of the augmentation slots. I mean, I guess, I guess that makes sense because it is kind of like cylinder on the bottom that could be like balls you basically like hover or roll on, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Or or just like the the feet like fold out yeah. of like the the head or like oh the yeah neck. that would work yeah, yeah the yeah. Uh, the le- like it, it's like a transformer basically yeah I have transforming legs and then would would it be like one for each leg or would yes. there be like two for each leg so it's just like centipedes for legs yeah yeah like uh, it, they're, transform they're... Into centipedes yeah each each leg is a, its own independent unit because I feel like you would want two centipedes for stability reasons well what do you mean two centipedes? Well, no because like, no, if, if the head opens up it'd be just like a foot like a hoof no i mean like when it's in centipede form like how does he stand on a centipede that's like crawling oh no i'm saying they, they detach entirely and i'm legless again yeah he's like oh on okay i yeah, thought yeah. you were gonna do like like skittering crab oh thing. my god i get it now like, <laughs> like they're gonna be like my like basically the one underneath the track man only i'm track man with centipedes yes yeah no no i'm not track man with centipedes i'm i just unleash my legs which now become horrifying centipede monsters okay. and then i hover like go forth my creatures i think that might be slightly less terrifying but i'm yeah. not sure no, I, I mean, know. I would, it really I would depends. say it's like seven percent less terrifying. <laughs> yeah, still okay. less terrifying. That makes sense. All right, so your legs are detachable centipede, centipede monsters. Robots. Yes. Right. Yeah, I'm not centipede track man. Okay, cool. so like to clarify, seeing as we're doing this, we're gonna have a whole bunch of these around our robot, and they're gonna be like our defenders of our bo- our robot. Yeah. And then that way, if you lose your legs, you can just get a new one. Yep. <laughs> So, your robot is full of prosthetic legs. Yeah. No, actually, no, actually, look at how like creepy this is. Because imagine this. Okay, so what we do is we put all of these in a pod, or like you know, pods on the outside of the ship. And if shit really goes down, we just drop all of those and oh, let them all fight. And let's just activate like a swarm. <laughs> They'll have fucking gang up tactics. Yeah, there we go. That's what it is. The back pod is not actually a science lab. That's actually where we're housing all of those. Oh my god. And it just opens up and unleashes them. The dump truck of murder centipedes. <laughs> we went, well, we went from being the bad or the good guys to the bad guys very quickly. There. Very quickly, just a little <laughs> bit of uh, horrifying tech, and it changes. That's the problem with science. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, that's what happens when, like, you know, you, you can put a skull on a plane, and you are the bad guy instantly, and that's what Coalition did. No, they're not the bad guys. Yes, yes, they they're are. They're the good guys. <laughs> then they should have skulls on their everything. The, the robot that the girl is sitting yeah. on, actually, okay. this is actually like a, <laughs> this ro- this drone is actually one I've actually thought about bringing up into the game because there's a couple different things that they use this that image. giant spoon she's holding. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good robot design. What the hell? The, I think the, that's a spoon. I think she is holding a giant spoon, or it's a no. That ro- that robot is is sweet looking. Yeah, they I actually it, it it comes from something because it's actually in several pictures that I've seen. Huh. But it's like a really cool looking like four legged, but it's also wheeled. The only downside I can see is that it seems to have corded power for some reason. Yeah. I'm li- I like to think that that's the girl. <laughs> maybe, oh, she's, okay. maybe she's plugged in. <laughs> <laughs> she's what, what does she do? Serve soup to a giant? You made this awesome robot, but it's like you need an extension cord. Mm-hmm. That's like something Willow would do as a joke to Rudge. Make his legs <laughs> require extension cords. He's I get uh, into wall power. Yeah, so the lab. You're, you know, just, like, you're just like carrying around a generator too. Yeah. Actually, yeah, the centipede thing that would actually be really cool, Rudge, uh, because they can act as like your little lab assistants too. Oh fuck yeah! They can like grab stuff for you. Yep. I need different sizes happening. of these. You need, I need to make a whole bunch of these. Or we need to, you need to. Whoever does this, whoever needs, whoever makes well, these, needs to make more. <laughs> we I already made yeah. one, <laughs> and I already yep. need more. So we jumped right into horror sci-fi, where we now have these like crazy-ass bugs floating around our ships. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm all for it, but so, yeah. Okay. yeah so, so in in the meantime, I will figure out. Um, so we need to figure out how much this exploration robot weighs, because when I looked up exploration robots. They're anywhere from like 50 to 80 tons. 
Yeah, we'll we'll definitely have to hash out the details uh, before <laughs> we'll do, we'll do do the like stats and stuff before the next session, and then we huh? can worry about um, other things then, and and then get going into the into the meat of things. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm definitely. I'll probably create. Well, Rudge, do you actually know how to do AI? Yeah. Like, can you actually? Okay, so I'm definitely gonna make some more AI for that way to come with us and stuff. I might just do AI actually for our base and bring my drones with me. Okay. I'm uh, I'm reading these quotes. Oh, yeah, oh, you got me. Uh, I, I got to get going, but I'll talk to you guys later. Yep, later. Good yeah. game. Bye. Right. Bye. Bye. Good game. Oh, my God. You have to put some of these into context. This is all ridiculous. Which ones? Uh, like, I mean, roll the suplex of the tree. <laughs> that was Carvin. Was it? That's what I thought. Because I'm like enough context. That's what I thought. No, no. That was when you fought the the Leshen, the like tree monster. Okay. And you had to like grapple it and like throw it on the ground. <laughs> sure. Roll the suplex of the tree. And I'm like that. That sounds like something I do. Is that me? Or... <laughs> and then now, who was punting the baby? Also, Carvin. Oh my god. It was the it was like a creepy like mutant baby <laughs> monster that you found in that swamp with the, all the like abominations. But I think they were like I don't remember what they did, but they were gross. Yeah, and you 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 punted it. Awesome. And I'm assuming I tried to lift up this shack. Yep. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember why you did that. Just because it was there and you wanted to i guess i'm pretty sure it was in the way and the quickest way in was just lift the whole thing because like the door was magically locked or something probably something like that yeah yeah it's like well we can't get in but i what if, can we get can we get in can we you know yep <laughs> so that, like the <laughs> all three of those yep right in a row Corbin, Corbin, knocking it out what does your whore eye see <laughs> that yep. one that's not from a game that you were in. Oh, that, okay. that's, a, that's a throwback awesome. to a 3.5 game that I ran a long time ago. <laughs> and there was this item called the Eye of Horus, like <laughs> you know, the god, like Horus mm -hmm. uh, from mythology. But yep. it very quickly became the Horror Eye. Yep. Um, because you know that's as, how things happen. Yep, as one as one does, they rename an item. Yep. <laughs>